Seathan Carter, I remember when he was coming out. I remember you calling me, and I think it was about two or three weeks before signing day, and you said, Lee, no one D1 wants to give this kid an offer. It's before Nebraska jumped in. And you're like, well, I don't understand why LSU can offer him, yada, yada. And I'm like, man, coach, he's a heck of a blocker. And he could, you know, 6'3", what, 225, and just a phenomenal blocker for you on that edge. Lee, you know. And and then Nebraska. And then. He came in late. But, you know, I used to tell the kids, you know, I go back to Damian Williams and I I use Seath because they're both seniors on the 2012 team. I thought they were both big-time Division I players and nobody had offered them going into the playoffs. And, And they were very down and despite said, guys, look, it's going to take care of itself. I promise you, don't let it affect the way you play. Well, Seaton and Damien in the state championship game against Barb, who was a high flying circus team yeah. that year. I mean, we control, we control the ball. Damien completes 80% of his passes. Seaton catches a touchdown. He has a great game. And Nebraska comes in and offers, offers Seaton. And Seaton visits, commits to Nebraska. And LSU comes in the last week. And, and I'll never forget, Les, it's a true story. Les Miles calls me up and we get into a shouting match. And it wasn't, the, it, that was the first shout match we got. To, <laughs> telling me it was my job to push a player to the state university. Mm. Look, let me tell you, coach. I said, you had a long time to offer this kid. I said, Nebraska came in and offered him and he's, he's honoring the commitment. Right. And then we got into a shouting match after Seaton signed uh, about it. And, yeah, he was. Uh, he expected me to do his work for him sometimes, you know, and it kind of upset me. I, I never got in the way of telling kids where to go and not. But Seaton goes to Nebraska, signs as a free agent, plays four years with the Bengals, and as with the Miami Dolphins, just signed a big contract last year. He's in his fifth year in the NFL. So I guess Nebraska was right 